The famous Greek philosopher Aristotle, who was a student of Plato and teacher of Alexander the Great, lived in the 4th century BC. He is known as the father of science because his contribution to the development of natural science, including physics, is tremendous. However, Aristotle's views and deductions do not coincide with those accepted today. Let us take one of his arguments as an example. He urged that a stone falls with a certain velocity. If we fix another stone on top of the original one, then the upper stone will push the lower stone, so the lower one will fall faster. On the contrary, it has now been strictly established that all bodies, irrespective of their masses, fall with the same acceleration. That is, in a given interval of time, their velocities increase by the same value. Let's see, what is then the error Aristotle made? Aristotle assumed that the upper stone pushes the lower stone. In reality, the upper stone does nothing to the lower stone, rather it is the gravity that accelerates both the stones simultaneously at the same rate. In other words, the force of gravity that sets the stones in motion increases by the same ratio as the increase in mass of the two stones. This in turn leaves the acceleration unchanged which is in agreement with Newton's second law.